Michael. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good to hear from you again. Yeah. Uh, my first question is to you. What are your initial thoughts on the group? And how much excited are you for this season after having particular notable additions to the team? Yeah, good afternoon to everyone. Um, I'm very excited. I said before the draw, you know, the teams in this level of competition, they're the best um, in their own countries. So regardless of the, the, the draw itself and obviously the teams we've now, we now know, um, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to go and test ourselves against them and not just test ourselves, but um, try and continue on what we did last year, which was to showcase the type of football that we play. Um, and more importantly, showcase what players from India or Indian football um, can do on that stage. And that's for us to compete, firstly. Um, and secondly, for the, uh, the players to perform and perform the way they did last time. And if, if we can do that, we'll put ourselves in a strong position to, to hopefully come away with some results from those games. But hopefully that answers your first part. The second part, um, I'm very happy with where we are at, at the moment in terms of this is my third year. Um, so I got asked the other day, uh, is this a new start for a new season? And it's, it's not, you know, it's um, the third season. It's a continuation of what has been built here now over two years is what we're looking at going into this year. We've, we've tried to do that by retaining um, a core group of our players from the last 12 months. And I'm very happy with the re-signings. And then of course, we've made some new additions to our squad, which will hopefully allow us to continue getting better this season as well. Thank you, Kudbis. Thank you. Uh, we'll move to Shan from uh, TV9. Shan, you have a question? Uh, hi, Dis. Uh, 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 my question is, uh, what did Mumbai learn from their ISL performance last season? Uh, and to Rahul, uh, uh, Rahul, as a player, as an Indian player playing in the ACL last season, uh, what were your initial reaction and takeaways? Go first. <laughs> um, our learnings last year were if we um, if we can continue, you know, we, with the first twelve months of being here, it was very much about putting um, some structuring around our football department and what that looks like. And I spoke uh, at length at times around making this club a, a CFG club and what that looks like behind the scenes. That then allows us to showcase the football that everybody sees on the TV. So the learnings from last year was that the work the players have put in prior to obviously what people see um, has allowed us to, to do what we did you know and to win the league um, the way we did playing the football we did obviously unbeaten when we won the league as well uh, but it was the style of football we played so the learnings last year were to make sure that we continue evolving continue getting better um, and that's why that continuation of going into season three rather than starting afresh and the continuation and consistency of our playing squad is going to be very important to us as we start this new season do you want to take yeah, so last time we played in Champions League and as we all know that it's a topmost uh, platform for Indian players to play and we played against some good teams so uh, we all were happy uh, with our performance what we did last time it was the first time we uh, Indian club won a match in Champions League and we'll make sure like this year uh, we have to do much better than that and we'll try our best to get into the next round Thanks, Rahul. Thanks, Shan. Uh, we'll move to Rituvich from Kelna. Uh, hi, hi, coach. Hi, Rahul. So, my question to you, who Rahul, is uh, uh, you guys are playing the start started team from Al Hilal. So, uh, so, how much big an experience would be for you all playing against the start started uh, team of Al Hilal? And again, uh, the second question is how important it is. To play in front of fans this season. Last year you had to play uh, in the neutral venue, and this season you'll be playing in Pune, which is closer to Mumbai. So, your thoughts on that? Uh, as we all know, that uh, Alidar is one of the best team uh, in Asia. Uh, they were the runners up uh, last season. Before that, they won. So we know we are having a team. Uh, it's a great challenge uh, for all of us. Uh, whether it's uh, all the Indian players or the foreigners we will be facing. So, uh, we all are ready. Uh, we just have to go there, uh, do our best and playing in front of the fans like we all have experienced last season uh, during ISL that how great their support was, how well we did at our home. 
सो वी आर सुपर एक्साइटेड टू प्ले इन फ्रंट ऑफ दम राहुल क्लब Um, I think I haven't been called Desmond for about twenty years since my. I know it was often my parents who would call me that if I got into trouble. So thank you for that. <laughs> um, but the I think the club will probably release a video of the draw itself, um, and you'll see the reaction of the players. You know, the players want to play against the best, and when they get an opportunity to do that, um, there was a it was a, a large cheer. Um, Any time Mumbai was featured to start with, and then when they, you know, we were pulled out into into that group, um, it's an exciting opportunity for our club. It's an exciting opportunity for the players um, to come up against not just Asia's best, but arguably some of the world's best players as well. Now, so it was one of uh, excitement, and I'm sure when the club released the footage, you'll be able to see exactly what it means to the players. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Amar. Um, Dizu and Shikhar, have you seen? both have a question but i'll only allow one of you to ask for now uh hi rahul hi coach uh my question is to you uh we saw the draw and videos of mumbai city players having drawn with saudi club and now we have al hilal uh, which is the most successful club in asia so uh and also we have seen the drama of transfer window in saudi so what are your thoughts on it on our draw against the saudi team or the transfers into saudi which question how uh, were we both the transfer and the uh... <laughs> oh, look I, i mean it's it's for us it's an opportunity to play like i said not just against asia's best but it's the, um, some of the world's best you've got obviously all the saudi players that are there and have allowed them to be as successful as they have over the like rahul has mentioned over the last couple of seasons but even the new additions in this transfer window you look i know neymar is obviously the latest and probably the stand out in there but it's you still got people like ruben neves from from wolves you got we're looking at it now malcolm um mitrovic again from fulham and there's many more uh, that have come in and that's it's an exciting thing to play against those types of players and something that maybe a a, a once in a lifetime opportunity or hopefully might be twice now in the group stage for for us and our club um and for saudi football that you can they've obviously got a plan about how they want to build their um their football ecosystem if you will and this is the the way that they're doing it and you've now seen it's not just what was ronaldo that went first you're starting to see all of these big names um players going over there and it can only be good for their their football system so you know from, i can only answer from our side we're excited about taking to the field and sharing a field with these players and we're very excited about competing and and seeing how we can get on against them Thank you, Rizu. Uh, we'll come to Abhishek from Essential Sports. We have a question. Hi, Des. Uh, hi, Rahul. Uh, so, so, as we all know that uh, Al Hilal are the most decorated team in the, the Champions League, and now they have a strong squad with so much experience from Europe. So, uh, Des and Rahul, question for you both: How do you plan on competing with such a strong side that features Neymar and Mitrovic? And your thoughts on Al Hilal's recent transfers, Mitrovic and Bono? Yeah, I worry about that a little bit closer to the time. <laughs> I think we've got a Durant Cup quarter final coming up in 2 days or 3 days time. So that's the the thing that's on my mind. Once we get a little bit closer to the uh those fixtures, we'll obviously turn our attention and focus a little bit more on them, but you know, it's going to be one that, you know, is it? I've said the word exciting many times here. Uh, uh it's going to be it'll be a challenge, of course. Um but it's a uh, it's one that we we won't shy away from. you know the same as we don't in the ISL and the same we don't in any competition we'll try and prepare our team and our club and our players uh, as well as we can um to try and face these challenges and the best bit is you want to especially at, you know whether it's a coach or a player you you have put yourself in a position where you deserve to go to this level of event and now it's about showcasing what we can do so for me it's exciting in terms of the transfers over there i think i answered that in the last question i think it's um a clear plan with Saudi looking to build their football ecosystem and this is one way that they're going about it. Now 
Uh, yeah. Uh, so last time we have experienced uh, how Champions League is. Uh, all the players know the level of competition, but now this season, as we we all know, there will be six foreigners. We got some new additions. So I think more than focusing on the other teams, um, we will be focusing on ourselves. How how we have to prepare well for all the three teams, not only just one. So I think um, we all are ready. Uh, now it's only uh, we are, the way we prepare for all the three games, and at the same time we got. Uh, advantage of home so we will be having home matches also so it will be a uh, really challenging thanks abhishek thanks ram uh, we'll come to anil ban from republic anil ban hi coach yeah so neymar might be visiting india uh, when the matches start so any particular plan for him and for rahul you might be pitted against neymar on the pitch So do you, do you have any particular plan against Neymar? <laughs> we'll have to introduce him to a Mumbai favorite Vadapav. We'll have to uh, introduce him to some of the local favorite foods here, and see how he enjoys that. Um, but no, no, no plan. Like I said, I think when you can bring the the world's best players um, and have the opportunity for them to visit India, it's great for our our football system. You know, it'll, it'll get people turning their eyes and attention to what happens here. it will give people the opportunity to come and see these players um close up you know such an opportunity that maybe is a once in a lifetime opportunity for fans to come and see that level and quality of player on the field uh and uh yes yeah, so i no particular plan right now but uh, like i said the closer we get to those games um the the more we will look at that i am excited so as uh, we will be uh uh when whenever we will be playing against them so uh, i'm super excited if i play that game i will make sure that uh, my best will be to stop him uh, from playing so that's what i can do my best for my team thank you you come to shant sports kira hello coach uh, so as you already know that you know you'll not be playing from your Home stadium in Mumbai, but from Pune. So, do you think that will make any difference? And how do you look at the situation? Oh, I think we we obviously would love we would love to have played at the Mumbai Football Arena because of how special that is to us. Um, but it's not possible with the the regulations that are placed upon Champions League and 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 the needs that are there for that. So the you know the club have made what they feel is the next best decision to make sure it stays within the region, um, and that's why it's gone to Pune. And I know the club are going to work extremely hard with our fans and our fan groups to make sure as many of them that want to get to that game that would come to the Mumbai Football Arena can hopefully access and get to Pune. Although it's a little bit further away from where the MFA is, um, hopefully it's not too much uh, too much of a disadvantage there. So if we can do that, and, the, and you know we can attract the crowds that certainly um, we know that these games certainly will attract, uh, we know we'll get the support whether it's in Pune or as it would have been at the MFA. Thank you, coach. Thanks. Thanks, Mohan. Uh, Meer. Uh, hi, coach Rahul. Either one of you can please answer this. Uh, hand to heart. Uh, I guess you'll be going the politically right way, but I wish you do not. But uh, which one were you hoping of the three? Uh, Benzema, Ronaldo, or Neymar, or none of them? This is a huge question. Who did you want? uh players were excited like they wanted to face uh, any one of this team uh, some some were like uh, big ronaldo fans so they wanted al nasar to be there and uh, the others like we all were excited that we get uh, one of the team uh, and we got uh, al hilal so we are super excited for that sorry me they been trained to be a little bit i know i know yeah ben ben trained <laughs> Uh, we'll go to Rohan from the Times of India. Yeah, thanks, uh, Anuj. But uh, I think the questions are covered. I had a couple. I think both kind of covered. So, so I'm good. Thank you. Thanks, Rohan. Uh, Levin from IITWC. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, so, the last two seasons of the Champions League ha- were held in a centralized venue. So, this time around, it will be played in the home and away fixtures. So, do you think that uh, since it is being held in the middle of the season? It will be a challenge to keep the players fit for as the games will be coming thick and fast. The ISL as well because the club wants to perform well in all competitions. 
yeah, I think we, you know, the last time it was in a bubble and it was the, the end of our season. Um, so this year it will be, we'll, we'll play six games in the Champions League from the start of what will be the ISL season and we'll finish them by Christmas. So it's going to be a very congested schedule. And then, of course, on top of that, you have the international breaks in September, uh, October and November. So it's going to be a very, very busy schedule for everyone. But uh, we now have three away trips, uh, one back to Saudi Arabia into Riyadh, uh, the other into Iran and then into Uzbekistan as well. So we've got three good overseas trips, but same as everything we've done in the last two years. We'll, once we now get these fixtures through and the dates of those, which once we, we can plan to that, um, the ISL fixtures are due very soon. So once we have that, we'll put a plan around our club and our players to make sure that they are as best prepared and we can look after them as well as we can to try and make sure we keep as many of them as, as fit and fresh as we possibly can to make sure that when they take to the field, whether it's ISL or Champions League or both, that they can put on the, the best performance that, that they can show. Because we've seen already when they do that and when we do that as a club, they're more than capable of competing at that level. Thank you, Coach. Best wishes. Thank you. Sylvain, uh, welcome to Shilars from Quint. Yeah, hi, hi, hi Rahul. Uh, I know you both are here in your capacity as coach and uh, player, but I would like to you know, ask you in terms of a football path, like when you, when you saw Neymar, who is just 31 years of old age, right? He's, he's moved into Saudi League. So, were you a bit surprised at the move? and? Considering that, you know, when you see new Ronaldo and Messi, they are both, you know, at the end of the career, so they can go to Saudi, they can go to MLS. So, were you a bit surprised at this move? And then, how do you rate Neymar in terms of Messi and Ronaldo's talents? That's a big one for you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Look, I think, you know, I, I know... There's been a lot of movement, especially into Saudi Arabia of late. Um, but people move at different times of their careers for different reasons. And we're not aware of what those reasons and personal reasons may be for people making decisions. But I think with the first move with Ronaldo going to Saudi in particular, it has kind of opened the door to more players. And you've seen you know, several players, and I'm sure before the window closes over here, that there will be maybe a couple more possibly. So am I surprised? No, I think football... Um, Football does evolve, football changes, and at the moment the change uh, seems to be in that direction, which for us, um, it strengthens the Asia competitions. So, no, I'm not surprised, um, like I said, but without understanding the reasons and, you know, the reasons people make decisions, uh, it's very difficult to answer the, the whole part of that question. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll come to Dilip from school. Uh, hi, Des. Hi, Rahul. Uh, Des, uh, you know, Given that uh, this season will probably be the last time our Indian club will be in the Champions League for at least the next few years because the new revamping of the competition, does that give you added incentive to do well? Uh, and uh, Rahul, question to you, uh, you know, given that uh, the Asian Cup is next year in Jan and you'll be playing these very good teams in the Champions League before, uh, you know, how uh, important will it be for Indian players in Mumbai City to, you know, face the likes of, you know, your Neymars and Neves and all these big players and how did it help prepare for the Asian Cup Challenge? I'll go first. What was the, what was the question? Sorry. That's why I said go first. I forgot it. Uh, the, the first question was, uh, I mean, you know, given that the uh, Champions League will be revamped uh, from this season, you know, and India won't have a club yeah. uh, going forward. So does this give it more incentive for you to perform well and you know make the most out of the opportunity you have this time around? Um, I'd say, uh, I'd say probably yes. You know, it's uh, players work extremely hard throughout the season, um, and you know we did last year. We 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 got to the playoff game. We won the playoff game, which gave us the opportunity to come to this event. And I think anyone that watched that playoff game when we scored what was the second goal and went on to be that winning goal against Jamshedpur, I saw the third goal. You see the celebration of the players, even at that late stage of the season and that late stage of a game, because they had a taste of this level of competition and they know what the differences are between domestic and, and that level in particular. And people, you know, good, peop good sports people and athletes, they want to challenge themselves and test themselves to see what they, what they can do and put themselves outside of your comfort zone. And that for me, yes, this is the last opportunity, so we'll do everything we can to make sure that players 
can perform and do what they, they, they need to. And hopefully in a not too distant future, um, the, the spot does return. But in the meantime, um, yeah, it's one last opportunity for us to, uh, to show what we can do at this stage. Yeah, uh, as you said, like uh, about Champions League and Asia Cup, like it's two different tournaments and there will be two different teams. Uh, we will be playing all Indians in Asia and Asia Cup and here we will be playing with the foreigners. So it will be totally different uh, scenario. But for the Indian players, um, it's it's good to keep uh, playing against uh, competitive uh, teams or players before the Asia Cup as we have played against Kuwait, Lebanon. Uh, in November, we'll be playing against Qatar. Uh, so these 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 matches are important uh, before we go to the Asia Cup because we know how the level uh, will be uh, there in Asia Cup. So for the Mumbai boys uh, who all will be there in the national team, it's a good test and it's a great challenge for them uh, before the Asia Cup. So it's I I can say it's good for the Indian players. Uh, thanks, Rahul. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, See in the chat, Amar and Shayan, you have follow-up questions. We'll come back to you. Not everyone has uh, asked their first question. Uh, we'll move to Satwik from Deccan Uh Hi, Coach. Hi, Rahul. Hi. Uh, question to Coach. Uh, there was a recent rule change from the AFC to accommodate 5 plus 1 foreigners in the, in, the play, in the playing 15. How does this affect your club? Uh, it doesn't really. Uh, I think you know people may look at that and say that we can be a stronger team going into these competitions, but it also means the other the other teams in the competition can also do the same, so they become stronger. What I would say to that also is we've got very good Indian players here that can play in place of foreigners, and we've already done that in the Durang Cup, and we will do that throughout the season if if and when there's a need. So I think it does. It just gives us more flexibility, um, just because we can play six doesn't mean we, we will or we have to um, but it just gives us more opportunities and I think that congestion and what is going to be a very busy schedule for us through from September through to December both with the ISL and now the champ, six Champions League games we will need access to the full squad and be having the flexibility to either start six foreigners or to use six foreigners in those games um, will, will hopefully make us a bit of a stronger team uh, across both competitions Thank you, thank you Thanks Aditya, from ESPN. Yeah. Hi, coach. Hi, Rahul. My question is to Rahul. Uh, so, you, you've drawn the Uzbek club, uh, Bahar. We have a few Uzbekistan national team players as well. Do you expect Igor to get in touch with you to to have a look at some of those players before you play them in the Asian Cup? Uh, no idea. I think it's uh, <laughs> it will be coach Scott. Uh, but it's good for all the Indian players, like before. Uh, Playing Asia Cup, we will be uh, testing few of the players from Uzbekistan, so it's good for us. Thanks, Elka. Uh, there's a Thanks, question. Uh, yeah, Coach, uh, there's a question that's come in from Ashwati Santosh. I think she has some technical issues. Uh, Coach, this year's campaign, I think, like somebody mentioned, will be the last direct Champions League spot for the foreseeable future. Do you think that this fact is slipping out of, like, it's being ignored? Uh, because now Mumbai will be taking on al Hilal and that's taking on all of the spotlight. What was the first part to that, Anuj? Sorry? The fact that this was, this is going to be India's last spot into the Champions League for, for a few years at least, do you think that's not getting the attention uh, as it should be uh, because of the spotlight now put on because of al Hilal being in the group? Oh, I've no idea, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I know we spoke, people will be attracted to those names. Obviously, Neymar is a, a huge name, as are a lot of the others we've already mentioned. And we've spoken a lot about Al Halal. You know, we've got other two very big teams in our group also that we haven't spent too much time speaking about. But I know the attention and because of what comes with Al Halal, the attention that will come on that. Um, all we can do is make sure that we go and put the best account of ourselves uh, forwards in that competition. Because if we do that, again, we've seen... You know, what we were able to do last year allowed us to, you know, with the results and the points that come with that, that allowed us to go into pot three this year instead of pot four in this competition. You know, and it'll be the same this time. If we can, um, if we can amass, you know, results, that will give us additional points for uh, the Asia competitions. And then, of course, you have Mom began Super Giants and uh, Odisha also an AFC competition. So the better teams do right now, uh, the better 
you know, I say longer term, but hopefully it's then not too long before it does return. But I'd like to think and I hope there is a plan for this spot to return at some point in the not too distant future. Coach, uh, Anil from the Indian Express. Anil, you have a question? Hi, uh, hi, Coach. Hi. Uh, Coach, we saw, uh, you know, this is such a big game, uh, AFC Champions League and such a big tournament, uh, but it has to be played in Pune, uh, unfortunately. Uh, can, can the club uh, do anything to change that in the future? Are you working on something so that, you know, you, this can be avoided in the future? Because after all, it's Mumbai City FC. I'll, sorry, I think oh. just take that. Take that chance, uh, Anil. I think all the all the facts that were around this entire this decision to move to Pune, all the facts were mentioned in our release, um, and we we'll maintain that if that we, but after DIY, sorry, I mean I, after Mumbai Football Arena was not eligible to host um, uh, the the Champions League games, our priority was to move to a football specific stadium, and the best. Best possible option, best feasible option was was the Balewadi, and until until something something changes, that this will remain our home home stadium for the Champions League games. Uh, if you there's any questions around this, I'll be happy to take them separately after the press conference as well. Okay, I was just talking about for the future. So. Yeah, no, it's it's three games, and we we already locked in uh, Balewadi as an home home venue, so I'll be happy to. I'll address this separately later. Alright. Thanks. Sorry, we'll come back to some follow-up questions. Uh, Shayan, you had a question? Yeah, uh, I guess after this uh, ACL draw, uh, how much weightage would you give to your Durant Cup matches and Federation Cup matches and ISL matches going forward in this season? How much what will we put towards them, sorry? How, how much weightage will you give to these Domestic matches. Yep. Would you would you use them as preparation for your ACL matches? Yeah, that's what we we've come here to the Durand Cup. You know, firstly we want to be a, a successful club. Um, so we've brought our full strength team here. We brought our first team here uh, with the view of trying to go as far in this competition as we can. And I'm very happy with the three games that we've played so far and how we've played. But we're also using this competition, hopefully, to if we can go as far as we can. It gives us. Um, it gives us the opportunity to have competitive games leading into what will be the first game of our season, which will be a Champions League game. Um, so our, it won't be an ISL game for us, it'll be a Champions League game. So, you know, the players have been aware of that since we come back into Thailand. We're very clear as a group um, on what we want to do and how we're doing it and what that looks like. Um, and it's about now trying to prepare everybody for what is their first game of the season. and. That won't change throughout the, the season for us. We will always field what we feel is our best team or our strongest side to get a result in the game or a performance from the game. Um, and then it's just about making sure again through that plan that we use our squad in a very similar manner as we did last year because it's going to, firstly it's going to be needed with the amount of games. Um, and secondly, we've shown that we've got good depth here. It's, you know, we've already seen in the Durang Cup a lot of our young players who have come on um, they've performed very well. So it's going to be a combination of those things, but we will always approach every game in the same manner. Uh, but it's just about planning and being smart around when and how we, we may do that. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll move to Anil from the News 18. Do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, looking back at the previous Champions League campaign, you guys managed to get two wins. So, uh, reflecting on that, how do you look forward to the upcoming campaign and uh, your expectations as so, well? This is on you. This is on you. He said Rahul. Oh, I didn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, will you repeat the question? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, looking back at the previous Champions League campaign, yeah. uh, you managed to secure two wins, but uh, unfortunately, didn't manage to go into the knockouts, but looking forward, how do you uh, prepare for the challenge that lies ahead? Uh, yeah, so our preparations for this uh, league, uh, Champions League will be the same. Uh, like last time we got the opportunity and uh, we did our best. We got two wins, but it was not enough for us to get qualified for the next round. But this year our target will be uh, same that we have to get to the next round. So 
our preparation preparations are already started um, we are now in the middle of uh, durant cup and then we will be getting two to three weeks before our first game so uh, we will do our best to prepare well and face our first home game thank you thank you so much thanks rahul uh, just come to abhishek from essentially sports do you have a corner yeah uh, so a uh, question for tess uh, so saudi league clubs like al hilal and al nassr have signed you know so many so many european superstars same happened with the chinese league few years back but but uh, it's not a destination for the top players anymore do you think saudi league and al hilal are heading towards another chinese league situation or this is the beginning of saudi league's dominance on world football yeah to be honest with you i haven't looked too deep at it um Obviously, uh, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I see what happened in China. Um, and I think if, if that's being used as a similar model, there'll obviously be learnings to take from that around how to build infrastructure and, and such. But I have no idea, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't, I've not looked at their football structure, what they're trying to do or what their plan is. But um, I'm sure there's some learnings certainly to take from what China was to what is now happening there. Um, but again, I don't, wanna, I don't know, so I'm not going to try and uh, guess an answer. <laughs> Uh, Rohan, you have a question for Des? Yeah, hi Des. Uh, just coming back to the uh, the change in uh, venue. Uh, now I'm guessing it, you know, it might have been a situation. I imagine that uh, you were already prepared for because it would have probably been known that you know the uh, Mumbai Football Arena, a nice and intimate a venue has it is, but would have fallen short of the AFC criteria. uh and also just wondering if uh, you or the players were consulted in this process when it came to you know uh, deciding where to play the home matches no that's sorry i know you're going to answer anuj i think that's that's um something i my job's to coach the team and try and prepare the team as well as i can uh, all those types of decisions are made by the management of the club and um yeah we're we're informed uh, when we need to be informed but again my job is to to try and prepare and coach the team as well as we can obviously the players job is to then try and perform as well as they can and then uh, the management's job is to to make the best decisions for the football club and like anu just said i think uh, you know it's not it's not something we wanted to do but it was something that had to be done on this occasion yeah i'll just uh, run to follow up on what uh, coach said it's like you mentioned after the mumbai football arena it was our priority to be playing in a football specific stadium we did consider all possible options and we didn't want to go too far away from mumbai so keeping all of that in mind all those uh, criteria in mind balewadi pune was the best possible option and uh, yeah that's that's the outcome it unfortunately we're not very happy i know it's champions league football in india for the first time in front of fans uh, but it's unfortunate that we have to do this but this is this was the best possible option for us so i'm not sorry just to clarify uh, then i guess the decision was purely taken by the management so the coach can we can we can connect separately it's the press conference for lesson now we can connect separately to the press that thanks uh, any any uh, more questions guys if there's any questions you can put your names in the chat box or else we'll uh, we'll call time All right. Um, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Rahul, uh, for your time, and thank, thank you, you everyone for being here for this press conference. We'll be speaking to you soon, uh, hopefully before the, our next game, the quarterfinal of the Durand Cup against uh, Mohan Bagan on Sunday. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.